Hello mga ka-love team at welcome back po sa aming channel and it's me Roland And sa mga nag-subscribe po sa aming channel, thank you so much At kung hindi ka pa subscriber, please do like, share and subscribe sa aming channel which is PC Davao And please hit the notification bell below para updated ka sa aming mga future videos And for today's video, pag-uusapan po natin ang isa sa mga pinaka-phenomenal event sa history ng Miss Universe. If you could remember mga ka-love team, uh, Venezuela won back-to-back -back victory a decade ago with uh, Miss Universe 2008, Diana Mendoza, and with Miss Universe 2009, Stefania Fernandez. So ang tanong po ngayon, maaari bang magkaroon ulit ng back-to-back -back victory sa katauhan ni Catriona Gray at Gazzini Ganados ng Philippines? What do you think? Please comment down below your comment or your opinion if possible ba na magkaroon ulit ng back-to-back -back occurrence sa history ng Miss Universe. So... Malapit na po ang Miss Universe at marami po sa ating mga Pilipino o sa ating mga Pinoy ang nag-aasam na magkaroon ng back-to-back -back victory with Gazzini Ganados. Do I believe na magkakaroon nga ba ng back-to-back -back victory ang Philippines sa Miss Universe? Well, I think it's hard to achieve but it's always possible na magkaroon tayo ng back-to-back -back victory. A few moments later. Yes, you heard it right, mga kalab team. I believe na it's very possible na magkaroon ulit ng back-to-back -back victory sa katauhan ni Catriona Gray and Gazzini Ganados. Only if, if, for my opinion, Gazzini needs to have the mindset of the winner. Gazzini needs to think that she is the winner already even before the competition starts. Kasi nagsisimula lahat sa utak natin. If we are going to think of something positive, then everything will follow. It's only a matter of conditioning within our mind. So if we want to win something, then we have to focus our mindset on our goal. Kumbaga pa, kailangan nating ituon ng mabuti ang ating isip sa mga positibong bagay. Say for example, you want to win something, of course, you have to focus your mind, you have to set your goal, and you need to set aside all the negativities. Before, before the competition starts, it's because your mind or your mindset plays a crucial role in your life. Yes, Gazzini has to have a positive way of thinking. She needs to have the motivation, the drive, and the passion to win the crown. Dapat niyang paigtingin ang kaniyang uh, fighting spirit if she wants to win the crown because in Miss Universe, there are lots of very strong contenders, especially this year. So, Gazzini needs to focus her mind she needs to focus on the goal. Yes, we know that Gazzini has bashers, especially sa kanyang communication skills, but she needs to set aside all the negativities. She needs to focus on the goal if she wants to, uh, to win the crown because having a positive mindset plays a crucial role in her success. So second guys, Gazzini needs to have the strong will to win because thinking and words without actions, then that is useless. So dito pumapasok yung determination natin na manalo sa isang competition. And I think that Gazzini is working so hard with her practice, especially sa kanyang communication skills. Because if we want to achieve something bigger in life, then we need to work hard for it. So ito yung tinatawag natin na our strong will to win. Because winning or success doesn't only happen overnight. It is 
as something that we need to achieve through determination, passion, and hard work. So, since uh, marami pang buwan ang bibilangin bago mag Miss Universe, so marami pang time para mag-ensayo at mag-training si Gazzini. Because hindi lang sapat na ganda lang, hindi lang sapat na matalino ka lang, you have to practice more because with practice, we can achieve perfection. So, third is, uh, it's destiny. Yes, I believe that everything happens for a reason. Because sometimes, guys, beauty pageants or any competitions in the world is sometimes a uh, game of chance. It's a game of luck. Say, for instance, what happened to Miss Universe 2010? Uh, wherein Miss Philippines Venus Ra was asked about a major mistake in her life. If we are going to evaluate the question, it is way a lot harder than the question of Jimena Navarrete where she was asked about the effect of uncensored internet usage to the youth. So if we are going to evaluate those questions, we can say that Jimena's question is a way a lot easier than Venus. So that's where luck comes in. So it's a matter of, it's a luck because I believe that kung nakatadhana talaga para sa iyo ang corona, then no matter how difficult the situation is, no matter how hard the competition is, if nakatadhana talaga para sa iyo ang corona, then eventually that will be yours. So I think that uh, destiny or luck will still play a role in winning a back-to-back -back victory. So yun nga siya guys, isang dekada na ang nakararaan matapos mapanalunan ng Venezuela ang back-to-back -back victory. So ngayon ang tanong, magkakaroon ba ulit ng back-to-back -back victory this time for the Philippines? Yes, we believe at ipagdarasal natin yan and may the odds be ever be on Gazini's favor. So good luck and isabay po nating ipagdasal ang kanyang tagumpay sa Miss Universe 2019.